Can we make the ballots for the US election secure? Can we avoid any type of fraud, any type of suspicious, any type of complaint, any type of bad feeling by leveraging technology? The answer is obviously yes, technology can solve all of these problems and we need a few ingredients that I will list now very quickly. So the first ingredient that we need is what's called mailroom automation. What it is, is the ability of a robot or a system to take an envelope, open it, process it, digitize it and transfer it to a database. Then we need artificial intelligence. So it's a technology that can make decision on its own. Namely, could make the decision of attributing the ballot to somebody or saying that the ballot needs a human being to take a look. Then we have what we call man in the loop. So man in the loop is more a process than a technology. It's basically a variation of a process where artificial intelligence makes the decision that it is not intelligent enough to make a conclusion on a specific case and it's invoking man help. The final ingredient that we need is cryptography or blockchain technology to make sure that any information that is digitized from the ballot remains untouched by any other source or any decisions that is made by the artificial intelligence remains untouched and there are no malicious activity around this data. How would this work? I mean, what is actually the process that would allow the election to be fair and eliminate all of these uh, complaints that we are hearing around. So step number one, the voter would cast his or her vote and then would take the envelope and drop it into the mailbox. Then somebody would pick up the envelope, it could even be a robot if you like, so that we eliminate the humans completely from that process and would take it to a operations and processing facility. In this facility a robot would open the envelope, scan the envelope, digitize it and then an algorithm would decide first whether the ballot is valid, it's invalid or requires more decision making on the part of a human being. Now if the ballot is valid the algorithm would go further on and decide and attribute the vote to one of the two candidates, okay, either Biden or Trump or if it's also senators involved, uh, whatever senators they're voting for. If the ballot is deemed by the artificial intelligence invalid, the operation would be, if you like, recorded, but nothing else happens. If the ballot is deemed that requires a human being, then now the digitized ballot would go to a jury, if you like. This jury is composed of people that don't know each other. They are distributed in the United States. I would recommend they are law enforcement officers or military personnel that are under oath with respect to the United States federal government or any local government so that there is a, a stricter conditions that they have to obey. Now the number of these judges would be odd so it would be five it can be nine of course the more you have the longer it's gonna be the process but basically you would decide whether or not the ballot is valid and who is the candidate that received the vote based on the majority so if you have nine judges and five of them votes for a valid ballot to be attributed to candidate Trump, for example, that is going to be the final result and the attribution of the vote. And it's something that we do all the times in artificial intelligence, basically. Now, there is an additional thing in this process that I would do, and it's basically record all the data about the invalid ballots. So basically, at the end of the elections, we could have a general statistic that could look like out of 500,000 invalid ballots, 250,000 were leaning Trump and 250,000 were leaning Biden. So very good, nobody complains. We could have instead another situation where let's say 400,000 are leaning for Trump and 100,000 are leaning for Biden. So as you can imagine that there's going to be some complaints. So in a situation like that, the candidate that feels that he didn't receive a fair treatment, okay, he could appeal to some court, he could ask for a revision of those 400,000 ballots. And so you could imagine that you now elect a new jury, maybe a jury of 21 people, that they're going to look at these ballots on a 
computer basically from the safety and security of their own and they're gonna cast a vote now if you have 21 people it's very difficult that you get an error you know and again you would determine a majority or you might also determine that the majority has to be more than one it has to be a qualified majority you can come up with other processes that make the error really, really irrelevant at this point. But if we were to implement such a process, the chances for an error would be very low, in my personal opinion. Why do lawmakers do not implement a process like this today? It is my opinion that it's because of the fear that some external malicious agent could alter the digitized data and so alter the result of the election. So what I would like to know is what do you think about it? And I would like to start a conversation and debate in this very channel in writing comments below. Thank you very much. I'll see you the next time.